What's going on guys and welcome back to Fitment Industries Garage. Today we're going to be looking at Zach Rashid's 2017 Subaru WRX STI on Fortunato coilovers. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe and get all your wheel, tire, and suspension needs over at fitmentindustries.com. Let's get into it. So for those of you that don't know, Zach is one of the customer service reps here at Fitment Industries and he just picked up this WRX STI here a couple months ago and as you can see, he spent no time slamming this pig on the ground on these Fortunato coilovers. Now I know Zach personally and this car is right up his alley and to set off this look he put this thing on some Koenig hypergram wheels now these bad boys are an 18 by nine and a half plus 25 that's a meaty boy now a lot of people with these cars are gonna go up to a 19 to try to get more of a stancy boy look and I really like what he did here and he went with a meaty 245 40 18 on this now this is a very aggressive functional look and he's got some really nice lightweight wheels on here too. These Koenig Hypergrams are actually a flow form wheel. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a really nice, strong, lightweight wheel that you can really almost compare to a forged wheel. You're not quite there yet, but you're also not spending $3,000 on a set of wheels. So this is a very nice wheel choice for this car. It looks perfect for exactly what he's going for and it functions as well, which I know is perfect for him. Now with the way the car is set up, you can't actually adjust camber from the factory or with aftermarket coilovers. So what Zach did to fix that is he got SPT brand rear control arms and what that's gonna allow you to do is dial in that camber a little bit and try to reduce what little rubbing he does still have here. Now the other thing that really ties together the look of this car is this OLM rear gurney flap on the spoiler. Now this is a factory spoiler for STI and putting this little gurney flap on here really makes this car look super, super aggressive without really doing anything crazy. It's a very nice touch. So as you can see, the overall aesthetic of this car is kind of that Stormtrooper look. But what I really like about Zach's taste is he didn't do anything over the top. He got the gray wheels instead of the black wheels. He didn't tint the taillights or anything like that. But you got the black backed headlights. You got the black piece on the spoiler, the black roof, the 20% tint all around with the rather illegal 50% tint on the front. It looks absolutely fantastic and I cannot wait to drive it. So let's get in this thing and see how it handles with these Fortunato 500 coilovers and these Nitto NT 555 G2 tires. I think the most notable thing that I've noticed about these coilovers is that it still feels as comfortable as stock, but you're raising the bar as far as the confidence in the handling goes. Oh, hello friend. I think the coilovers really give it a lot of nice composure. I think when I rip these cars in stock form, they have a lot of a body roll, and so when you let off the clutch and go to shift the gear, you do the whole, you fly forward and you fly back, and this just stayed flat. It was super, super nice. I like a coilover that's confidence inspiring. Oh. <laughs> Now these are the Fortune Auto 500 coilovers, and so it's the entry level coilover, if you will. But what's really cool about Fortune Autos is it's what they call a modular coilover. And what that means is that you're actually able to upgrade them over time. If you want to step up to the next set of coilovers, or you even want to go full race car mode and have remote mounted reservoirs, you can do that. You send them back in and they modify them for you. You don't have to buy a whole new set of coilovers and spend all that extra money. It's just like predictable between the NT555 G2s and the Fortunato coilovers. It's confident and predictable. You, you pitch it where you want it to go, it follows through, and it does what you tell it to. And it also tells you back oh, exactly what you need to know. And that's, that's your road feel. That's your, once you're starting to get to that point of lost grip, you can just feel it. And you need to have that kind of feedback to not kill yourself or hurt your car. Decent! Fortune Auto makes some of my favorite coilovers. Like I said before, they're modular, they're upgradable, they're rebuildable. Each one is literally hand assembled to order right here in the good old US of A. And that's pretty cool. So it's nice to support a small business that gives you a quality product that's engineered through experience on the racetrack, you can't beat it. Now you might think Fortune Auto, with all of their race car technology and race car experience and race car quality, 
that they're really, really expensive and they absolutely can be if you want something crazy. But they also have an entry level coilover, which this one is running and that's the 500 series. But don't think that they're a bunch of trash. They have adjustable bodies. They have, I think they're 25 way, 25 click adjustable for dampening. And then most of them come with camber plates if your application supports it. It's a, it's a really, really, really good set of coilovers for the money. So now that you guys have seen how this thing handles with these Fortune Auto coilovers, would you run them on your ride? How do you feel about Koenig wheels? You can answer any of these questions by dropping a comment below. If you're looking for a set of Fortune Auto coilovers or Koenig wheels for your ride, head over to FitmanIndustries.com. I'm Sean from Fitman Industries Garage. Peace.